welcome to your sound bath. My name is Tamiko French and I will be your facilitator for optimal relaxation today. While sound healing is a wonderful benefit to your well-being, it is not a replacement for any medical diagnosis or treatment. You should use this as a complementary way to build your wellness journey and wellness toolkit. Over the course of the last couple of years, we have been impacted by many stressful situations that have caused us to endure high levels of stress, suffer in many cases, bouts of mental illness and lack of connection to our lives, to our loved ones and to our world. And it caused me to deeply go into introspection about myself, my own well-being, and focusing on what matters, my peace of mind. And so connecting those dots, I found this amazing world of connection to music in a different way. We all know that music is a universal language and it affects us in many ways, connecting to our happiness, making us think deeper, and building a wonderful tapestry of how we keep ourselves in our zone. And so today, I invite you to dive into how sound can build a wonderful tapestry of well-being for you. Sound in its foundational form is vibration. Everything in our world has a vibration and resonance. And even you in your physical form have a resonance, which is why we can feel energy of people as they enter the room or as they're sitting there and you feel a vibe, so we call it, coming towards us or coming off of them. It is our resonance that allows people to feel various vibrations. And just like that, instruments have that as well. For hundreds of years, instruments have been used to impart emotion, to evoke emotion, and to build and prime spaces, meaning allow you to create around you the tapestry of sound that helps you to understand what the musician is feeling through words or through instrumentation. In this way, we allow just the instruments to speak and tap into, through their resonance, your body systems your inner landscape, evoke imagination, and help to build a sense of well-being through these resonances. In this practice, I invite you to allow the sound to massage your eardrums, allow the waves to help you to close your eyes and relax into feeling the vibrations in your skin and tap into your nervous system where we feel everything. Remembering that you cannot unsee, you cannot unfeel, and you cannot unhear anything in our lives. Knowing those three things Imagining all the layers of vibrations and resonances that we did not invite to come into our vessel. Taking a radical moment for ourselves to listen intently to sounds meant for your inner landscape to thrive and flourish is extremely important. So I express gratitude right now for you in taking this intentional moment with me. Now, let's talk a little bit about the 
instruments and what they sound like. In this section, I would love for you to listen to the sound and see where it resonates for you. What vibe does it give you? Is it in your body? Do you feel it outside of you when it comes and presses against the skin? And in this practice of just listening, I'd like for you to close your eyes as you're listening. Allow for your eyes to close and your mind to illuminate colors, shapes. Maybe it reminds you of something specific. Allow your mind to wander, to journey. And as you do this, take notice. So I'd like to start by introducing you to the array of instruments that I have. Beginning with the original instrument, the drum. This takes form in every cultural population across the globe. In my root, the African continent, these drums take many shapes. And the ones that really speak to me are the djembe and junjun. I have with me, generally used in sound bath sessions, a buffalo drum. This is a Native American instrument. I'd love for you to hear it. How did that feel? I love this instrument because it gives us this overtone. And then at the end of it, it lingers. And it feels like it's opening something. Did it open anything for you? Tapping into our chimes. This is a canary seed chime. And these seeds are derived from West Africa. It creates a wonderful rain sound. How did that feel? What did that remind you of? It always reminds me of a cool rain shower. These seeds also come in ankle instruments as well as many other forms. I remember affectionately seeing one of our favorite groups perform that with those on their ankles. Now we have the rain. This has been my favorite since the past. Remember to close your eyes as you listen. How did that make you feel? 
Noticing the slight nuances and differences between the instruments can make all the difference in your personal profile of sound. Now let's get into our crystal singing bowls. These bowls have been transformative in my health journey. They are made from 99.9% crystal quartz. Yes, the stone from the earth. Their resonance is like no other. As I walk up these crystal bowls, I want you to as I introduce each crystal bowl, I invite you to find its place in your body. Where does it reside for you? Where does it feel the strongest? This C note is connected to your root center at the base of your spine, grounding you, supporting your security and safety in your body. Process food that gives us energy. Our body's wisdom. And your courage. And drive.
mindset around the abundance that is inside and outside of you. to your throat center, your communication center, focused then on your authentic voice, being unapologetically you. to your third eye center between your brows. This is your intuition center. Seeing beyond seeing, knowing beyond knowing. This is the B note, your crown center, your connection to source universal energy, your spiritual center, connecting you to all that is. Now that you're familiar with the full spectrum of bowls, there are many more. This is just eight of them. Now that you're connected to the array of bowls that I have, I'm going to introduce you to my other instruments. I do also have some Tibetan bowls here, and they range in the same way that the crystal bowls range. However, they can take on various overtones and undertones as well. What's special about these instruments is that they are made with seven different metals. And exactly the word I mentioned, Tibet, that's where they are created, where they have been played for thousands of years. one focuses in on the third eye chakra. However, know that wherever it resonates deepest for you, that is perfectly all right. Because each one of us are different. And embracing the sound where you're at is extremely important.
this one's connected to the heart chakra. Again, with each sound, I hope that you are relaxing into it, taking a moment to close your eyes and breathe, and just touching base, seeing where that note, that sound, that experience resonates for you. This one is your third eye as well. We have our gongs here. But these are very special instruments because they move energy in a very different way. What I'm doing is warming up the instrument. like a hand pan. It's a hand drum. You can play it with mouths. Um, let's get into the sound. Taking a breath. start developing an appreciation and noticing where you associate sounds, how you come into sound and how it builds a landscape around you. And you also pay a lot more attention to how sounds inform your body, how you create sound around you, what you listen to, and how it allows you to Feel deeper, see deeper, and build an environment of well-being. 